what's up guys uh, I'm just gonna show you guys the difference between the support system between the MakerBot and then the uh, up mini uh, pretty much this was made uh, by the uh, MakerBot this one was made by the uh, up mini so this one you have to like pry it out this one you can just like take it off from the printer so this one makes this base as you can see over here that comes up pretty easy when it comes to, when it becomes uh, when it, when it's a flat surface the problem is this one right here you see this right here it's really stuck in place that one you're not gonna be able to get out of your hand so now let's uh, look at the one with the up mini. The up mini creates uh, like a shell underneath it, right? Sometimes a little hard to take off. Sometimes a little easier to take off, right? You see that? But the part that I like about it is that when it comes to this kind of support system you see this it's just it just peeled right off because it creates this like shell thing underneath it so it just plies right off it leaves this material uh, without any material stuck to it right here same thing right here You see that? There's a little shell, you push it down, nothing to clean up. Same here. Nothing to clean up. So now let's go see this one right here. This one, you have to use pliers to get it off. It's really stuck in there. And I like to twist instead of pulling, because once you start pulling, you might break the model. See that? So the difference between the uh, MakerBot support system and then the Up Mini support system is that this one creates the pretty much the support system becomes bond to the material and um, it leaves support system stuck in there. You see that? I don't know if you can hear it, but let's see. You see that? It's because the uh, support system was bonded to the PLA. This one, on on the other hand, it's not is is smooth. So that's the main difference between the PLA uh, support system and the MakerBot, and then the uh, Up Mini support system with the Up Mini.